Hello everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. This is Kevin. Today we are at Gamble Rogers Memorial State Park. This is about 20 minutes north of Daytona Beach. I'm sure you could tell by the audio of the GoPro, but it's really windy here, so sorry if this video audio sucks, but there's nothing I can do to block the wind. Anyway, we got Christina's Forerunner, Ron's trailer, of course my truck right here. We got a little sailor right down here. And Ron's cooking up a nice tasty meal for us. So today is not just your normal camping trip, it's also Christina's birthday. And we are gonna be cooking up some grilled chicken and some fresh peppers with some onion, some brown rice, and we're gonna take tortillas and roll it up. And Christina's actually gonna be making some fresh guacamole and also some fresh from scratch queso. So in last video, I talked about how I ordered some cut resistant gloves. So now I will cut myself. Now we're gonna add in the peppers and the onions. So here's the delicious queso that Christina's been making. It smells good, I haven't tasted it yet. So I'm not sure how this video is gonna turn out or if we're even gonna make a video because it is so windy here, I can only imagine how bad the audio is gonna turn out. But if you guys have never been here, never heard of this park, we are 20 minutes north of Daytona Beach and we are 20 feet from the beach. So on the other side of this little shrubbery right here is the actual beach and I don't know if you can hear it in the background but the waves are crashing. So we'll give you guys a tour in the morning when it's daylight. But this evening we're just going to camp, cook, and just hang out around the fire. So the chicken's done and so is the uh, sauteed peppers and onions. We have some fresh made guacamole over here. We have some brown rice and then we also have some fresh queso. Tonight for dinner, we have some brown rice, then we have some fresh made guacamole, we have some pico de gallo, we have some fresh grilled chicken, we have some fajita vegetables with some white spinach queso with a little bit of guac and pico de gallo on there, and then we also have some raw onions, raw peppers, and raw green onions. And we're going to wrap it all up in one of these flour tortillas, sprinkled a little bit of Mexican cheese. Still really early in the night. We are all cleaned up. It's kind of rare for us. Ron's got his midnight rice snack still on the stove there. But uh, somebody got a little too close to the ocean and their shoes are soaking wet, so trying to dry them out over the fire. But like I said, we'll show you uh, in the daylight tomorrow. We're about 20 feet from the beach. There's a little trail right there. Um, but uh, a lot of people are probably gonna ask, I've only been bit by maybe one noceum. I got the Florida standard issue uh, flip flops and shorts and I've not getting bitten up by anything. So that's a blessing. I mean, we've been in the shrubs, the grass, the dirt, the sand, everything and I haven't been really bitten by anything. So it's midnight and it was so relaxing sitting by the fire. And like I said, 20 feet past this uh, shrub right here is the beach. So you can just hear waves crashing all night. It's really relaxing. The wind finally died down, so maybe this video is going to get uh, salvaged. The audio is going to turn out pretty well. Uh, Ron's got a new camera, 
and he's actually been trying to do some nighttime photography but unfortunately it's been overcast so not very good uh, pictures of the stars and everything but we're working on it it's time to turn off some lights and go to sleep and I'll catch you guys in the morning Ron and Christina are gonna continue going up the coast they're gonna go to St. Augustine I'm gonna hang out around uh, Gamble Rogers Park here for a few hours tomorrow and then I'm gonna head all the way back across the state uh, to Tampa Good morning, everybody. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. This is how close we are to the water. And this is how close the campsites are together. It's not really an issue. Sure isn't primitive camping. Here's Sailor. And uh, it's really windy. There's supposed to be a really bad storm coming through Central Florida today. It's supposed to last a couple hours. The wind's up to like 40 miles an hour, so... Put away the awning and stuff like that. We're gonna hang out for a couple hours. Now I'm going to head back towards Tampa, which means I'm going to go right through the middle of the storm. So here's the beach. Our campsite is right up here on the other side of this berm. This state park is pretty unique. It doesn't really seem like a state park. So you have 33 waterfront campsites, which is where we were camping last night. And then you have A1A goes right through the middle of the park. And uh, so we're gonna go across to the other side of the park. Basically on this side of the park, you have a lot more campsites. You have uh, some pavilions, a boat ramp, kayak launch. You have walking paths. And then you have a lot of picnic tables that are right on the edge of the water to enjoy whether you're Bicycling, we have dogs. Like always, thanks for watching. This was a really short trip, which means it's a really short video. I wasn't expecting to get a campsite here, but I just happened to check um, Reserve America and there was a spot open for Wednesday night. And most people wait months and months and months to find an opening, so. I booked it and we drove out here and the weather held off very very windy and was really nice and chilly last night which is really nice but today they're expecting some really bad storms to roll through so it's a good thing we're not camping tonight which is Thursday night. If you do get lucky and book a site out here or if you want to come for the day I recommend bringing a bicycle or a kayak although they do have kayak rentals. This is our last state park for a while from here on out we're going to be going back to primitive camping for a while change it up a little bit. I know some people are getting tired of the uh, state park videos, but um, if we just did the same thing every single time, then it'd get monotonous and kind of boring probably. Thanks for the support, get out and camp, and there is a link in the description for most of our camping gear for uh, everyone's questions about um, where we find the camping gear that we have.